Aloha! In this video, I'm going to show you how to read a standard, specifically a standard from the Hawaii Core Standards in Social Studies, which of course you can find at the state website, hawaiipublicschools.org. When you get there, you can do a quick search for subject matter standards or just take a look at that full URL there above. And I have chosen this content standard using maps and illustrations to explain how Hawaiians used and modified land in the Ahupua'a. This is what a teacher is given, and this helps them guide what they're going to help their students learn and be able to do. Uh, but that they're not just left alone. That's not the only thing that they're given. So that standard's right there in the middle of the page, but you can see there's a lot of support material here, and that's really what we want to focus in on this video, is what does all of this other stuff mean. Uh, so to start off, I think it's important to know that secret code, and you can see the secret code right there, SS.4.7.14.1. That can be a little overwhelming, but once you know what the code is, it's really easy to understand. The SS stands for Social Studies. This is a standard for Social Studies, not math. If it was math, it would be an MA. If it was Science, SC. LA would be Language Arts, probably. Uh, then the first number there, the 4, that gives us the grade level. This is a 4th grade standard. And then the th second number, the 7, this provides us with what theme it is. This is theme number 7 up here. And then the next number is the anchor standard. In other words, these are the big skills or big picture ideas that students are using for this content standard. In this case, it's anchor standard 14, which is right over here on the left. And then the one at the end, this is the numeric order of the course standard within the theme. In other words, this theme has two standards. The second standard is right underneath. That's why this ends with a two. However, notice that the second standard uses a different anchor standard. The second standard here is focusing on exchange and markets. So once you know that code, pretty easy to understand and, and work your way around it. Uh, the second thing, and probably the most useful thing, quite honestly, as a teacher, is the theme. This is the big picture idea. This is what I would use to build a unit. This would maybe be the topic for my unit, Life in the Ahupua'a. And uh, once you get that, you can start breaking it down. And to break it down, I might use the topic, which is right there, land usage and human modification. So big picture idea, Life in the Ahupua'a, break it down into some smaller themes or topics. And they actually give those right there for us. Uh, the other thing that's really useful as a teacher are these compelling questions, these big picture ideas. These are not yes and no questions. These help students think deeply about the topic by having open by having open ended questions that focus in on what the theme is. And then the other really useful thing, uh, and this is as a teacher what I was always grateful to have, a list like this, are these sample content and concepts. This is not a list of everything a teacher might use or teach about this uh, standard, but it does give some sampling of things that a teacher could use. So if you had no idea about Ahupua'as, this would at least give you a nice list of what to start looking at. Um, I've used these to make vocabulary list, lists on what I want to teach. I've also used it to look at main ideas or concepts that I want to teach. They have also are a great place to think about what are the lessons that I can teach in reference to this. These are not all-inclusive. You can add more to this, but these are ones that the state feels um, are kind of the basis of it. So that's uh, how to read a content standard. And as a teacher, once you read it, you start thinking and generating your ideas about how do I want to teach that using all of those support materials. And then hopefully you create a fabulous activity for your students to learn more about that standard. And that's what we've got. Go forth and serve. Thank you very much.